The Dog and the Wolf. Goo Goo comes to Earth one day and likes what it sees around itself. It feels like wanting to stay back here itself, but needs some more source of income to be able to do so. So, it approaches a cat who is nearby and asks if it can find a job for itself. The cat says that it is not too difficult to find one, but there will be way too many restrictions one may not be able to put up with. But Goo Goo is not convinced to give up and says that it is ready to do anything. Then the cat narrates an incident to make Goo Goo understand. On a cold snowy day, a gaunt wolf who was almost dead with hunger happened to meet a house dog who was passing by. The dog looked at the wolf who had looked almost like its cousin and asked why he looked so worn out. The wolf told its story of how it had just not managed to find any food due to the snow and how he had been hungry for a long time. Listening to the sad story of the wolf, the dog was moved with sympathy. It asked the wolf why it is ruining its life without a regular job by which it could earn its meal. The wolf replied that it would be more willing to do so if only someone hired him for some work. On hearing that, the dog comforted the wolf by saying that it should not be a problem to find a master who could provide it with work and food to eat. The dog offered to take him to his own master to request a job for the wolf. Wolf was indeed very happy to hear this. It dreamt of having a job to do and food to eat regularly without having to hunt all by himself. In all its excitement, the wolf set out with the dog to meet the dog's master. After they had walked a certain distance, the wolf notices a patch on the dog's neck where the hair was missing. When the wolf is unable to control its curiosity, it asks the dog about what had happened to it. The dog then explained that it was because of the collar that its master put on it every night when he is chained. It told the wolf that it would initially pain a bit, but one would get used to it over time. When the wolf heard this, the wolf did not like the idea of being made a slave. It bids a goodbye to the dog, saying that it would not be willing to work for its master. Goo Goo then understood that it is better off to live life on one's own terms and not live like a slave to fulfill their whims and fancies. <laughs>